Today, the AFN Fishing Show travels to Queensland where the team targets huge and fussy impoundment barramundi. Down south, Bill Classen shows us how to catch Murray Cod in the middle of Melbourne. Lake Awunga in its heyday provided awesome barra fishing action. We've taken a trip back in time to show you how a couple of barra gurus chase deep water fish there. Their tips will have you catching barra on plastics wherever you choose to fish. Yeah, 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 that's what we're talking about. Woohoo! Oh, he's going ballistic! Woohoo! All right! That's what he came here for. Central Queensland, just inside from Gladstone. Home to, whoa! Barramundi. Excellent, I'm here with a really good mate of mine, Peter Bayless. We've come here to do exactly this. Throw soft plastics at these sensational fish. We're sitting on a point in the main arm of the, the dam. Using the spin gear. Oh, these are great fish. These are powerful, powerful fish. Oh, they. Oh, they make you work. Here he comes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We've anchored the boat up because it's blowing a bit. And we're sitting on a point where we've sounded fish off the point. Oh, they're a powerful, powerful fish. <laughs> That was nearly dead sticking. I had that on the bottom. That was the third cast in the same position. I kept putting it into that position because we've sanded the fish there. Had a couple of hits here already too. Yeah, a couple of little tentative Just taps. Tentative, yeah. This was no tentative tap. This was, I'm eating you for dinner. Fish of that size, they've just got so much more power and, and, and a bit more stamina too. Nice That's fish. a nice fish. Nice bag. Still not done yet either. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, this is where you want to back that drag off just a little bit. Because those big head shakes can really rust through your leader. See if we can lead him up. He's doing a lot of movement. And the more he moves around, the more chafing of the leader you're going to get. So all it's going to take is one serious head shake sometimes and they can just pop your leader straight off. So back that drag off just a little bit more. I want to get him up to the net and have a, have a good look at him. Oh. Just using the rod as a lever. Yeah, it's a nice fish too. Look at that water they move. They got a pretty good engine and a pretty good propeller. Let's get that net in the water. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. What a cracker. Awesome fish, mate. Look at that, eh? You and metery that one? Inhaled that Berkeley mullet. A metre four. What do you reckon, Pooh? What a start, you know. We've cast in that point for, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And uh, the reason we're there is because we've sounded the fish on the sounder. And we're using the soft plastics that we're using, the sinking plastic to get down to them. And then just hop, hop, hop. Uh, that one, this guy just thought, mate, I'm eating you. You look too good. And if we have a good close look inside this mouth, you'll see that when you're a barramundi this big, you can pretty much eat whatever you like. <laughs> so this is why we came here. Have a look at that, a metre four of barramundi. Eating the soft plastic, I mean, we haven't been here very long and we're hoping to catch a few more of these. We'll talk you through a bit of uh, how we did it. We will slip this fish straight back in. It's performed pretty well for us, so it's a, it's a bit tired. Oh, it is. Away she goes. You can travel around, there's a lot of great impoundments in Queensland with barramundi in them. We've been here 20 or so minutes with a couple of taps, but that one, I think I turned that one into a fish because I paused a lot longer. We were hop, 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 stop, hop, 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 stop. What that one was, was a hop, 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 and then I let it sit there, sit there, sit there, and I hadn't even moved it. He actually ate that off the bottom, just <coughs> ate it off the bottom. So a little bit of dead sticking. So we're gonna get back in and have another go at that. Definitely. Around. Yeah. What a great fish. Now when I was when I was talking to you while that fish was going, it's pretty hard because you're excited. I was talking about when that fish had that uh, lure, that plastic, that Berkeley mullet down its throat, those big head shakes and jumps, they uh, rasp your leader. 
If you have a good close look at that leader, it is very, very rasped. Now, it doesn't take long to just cut that section of your leader off and retie it, and it's definitely worth it. If I was to fish that again and I got another fish similar to that, that's just going to pop. So it's worth a very quick snip. That one's gone. We cut that little piece off. So we're going to retie that. We use a lefty's loop knot. There's plenty of uh, good loop knots on the on the web. If you jump on the web and type in uh, fishing knots, there's some very easy, instructive knots to uh, follow step by step. Once you've learnt them, that's how quick it is to tie a new knot. Now that one's ready to go, no scuffing, ready to go to go out and catch another one of those barras. Awesome. Slip him in the net. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Look at that, that's the perfect hook up, perfect right in the corner up. of the jaw. Yep. You're fishing that, that uh, stinger I see. Yep. And that's just awesome, straight in the corner of the jaw. Look at that for a gob. These things can pretty much eat anything they like. Woo, how good was that, Pete? Well done, eh? I won't go too hard on you. <laughs> well done, let's go and do it again. So the technique we've employed here, big long cast with the wind, rather than against it, dropping the mullet right in close to the weeds, and then a series of short hops. Hop, 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 then let it go down. Hop, 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 let it go down. It's a fairly rigorous sort of hop we're using because the lure is a fair way away, and we want, we want that to impart that action of a wounded fish up, and then back down onto the ground, up. So it catches the eye of the barramundi that are cruising around or they're sitting there sulking on their bellies and they see this thing popping around and shaking. Hop, hop, pause. Hop, hop, pause. So we've just got to concentrate. That's the, so far the technique that's worked. Uh, all we need to do is refine it and turn those little ticks into a few more hookups. Oh, Pete. <laughs> I saw that fish on the sounder, Pete. And I just said, we just said, we said, we're over the top of it. We're over. Move the... out a bit. Yep. And. I don't think we'll need the net yet. We might be a little <laughs> while. <laughs> oh, nice. Very important to just have a nice smooth drag. Nice smooth rod action on these fish. You can see those that is lunges. A of fish. Those lunges, they fight hard, these things. It's got some weight. It's pretty cranky, wasn't he, Pete? <laughs> Hey, you know why he was cranky? Because he was, thought he was about to have a meal of uh, bony brim, <laughs> and he's just had a meal of power bait mullet with a hook in it. It's not done yet. <laughs> giving you some more curry. He is giving me some curry, Pete. And he he succumbed to that. Pause, pause, pause. Ooh, I didn't like move it, didn't there. move it, and then I just gave it a little hop. That's what we got. We got that other hit before. Here he so comes. We'll another one, another fish around that metre mark. They've just got so much go in them. We're only fishing in six, eight feet of water because we're fishing up for those active fish up on the edges of the weed rather than the ones that are sitting out off the off the edge waiting to go in the weed to feed. Right, look at that. Oh, beautiful job, Pete. Let's grab that fish. Berkeley mullet again. Bit hard with the old broken thumb, Pete, isn't it? <laughs> it is a little, but... He's giving you a bit of a... Oh, that's good. Nice clamp on there. Got him with the stinger and the main hook. The stinger just yeah. sitting in the bottom there. Helps if they're short striking, that sort of thing, but he really wanted that, so I don't think it made much difference today. There he is. That was what got the fish. Uh, awesome. We're going to slip him straight back in, I reckon. Pete, you want to do the honours? You reckon you can with the old broken hand there? <laughs> Give it a good crack. Beautiful fish. So much power. He's ready to go, isn't he? Yeah. Give him a bit of a swim. Once you feel that kick and that bite down, he wants to go on. He's been ready to go from the start. Awesome fish. The wind had actually died down a bit, so we, we pulled the anchor in and uh, jumped on the electric and started moving around the point, looking for a few other fish that we couldn't reach while we were anchored. And, and that fish was in an area we yeah. couldn't quite reach with anchor, so he must have been just sitting there. And finally got the Berkeley mullet in front of him and 
Game on! <laughs> yeah, awesome. your turn, Pete. You gotta do it. it now. <laughs> That's going. <laughs> what do you reckon of that, Pete? That's going quick. That. Listen to the sound of that. That's a good sound. <laughs> Woo! That's what we come here for. Yes. Oh, that's violent. <laughs> Holy dooly. Are we fishing offshore? Tuna fishing we are. We're still on this point. Just topping these mullet. He hasn't jumped yet, but... No. Oh, it hooked him down deep, so... He's not far from the surface. He's slugging away over there. Alright, this is where she's going to get interesting, Pete. She's coming around the boat. The broken hand. This will be very interesting to see how quick you can react with a broken hand. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to say no to some bar fishing, so... No, that's dedicated. A dedicated angler there. Haven't seen it yet, but... i got a sneaking suspicion it's not a flathead. <laughs> I reckon you might be right on that one, Jace. It's a good call, isn't it? It's... Ooh. Ooh, that's scary, isn't it? Felt something clink there, but... Usually the, the tail sometimes hits the leader when, they, around, when yeah. they get that head down. <laughs> He's sort of dictating terms, isn't he? He is. And you've got a broken hand, <laughs> not much you can do. I'll wait up here and we'll just give us a yell when you're ready, you know? Broken hand, going barra fishing, you yeah, deserve everything you get. Oh, and he's getting, <laughs> he's certainly getting it. I'm sure the doctor said something about taking it easy and not stressing your stress fracture. Oh, that's a slab. That is another slab. I'll send him your way. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, yes, Pete. What a cracking fish. <laughs> that is just. <laughs> that, that's awesome. No, friend, don't let me hang it. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get it in. Oh. Oh. Wow. What a great fish, Pete. Have a look at that corner jaw hookup, too. Look at that, that's mate. Awesome. Beautiful hookup. Oh, the big arrow. They don't have any small ones here, do they? <laughs> <laughs> That's been the lure of choice. He's a long fish too. A genuine metery, that one, mate. Awesome. Hey, meter 11. A meter 11. That is so wide and fat too. So much weight. I reckon we've got time for one more fish. I love that. And then we've got to go. We'll just slip him straight in, mate. He's ready to go. Look at that. <laughs> That's what they designed that bit for. <laughs> That's why that <laughs> part of the, uh, the back of the stratus is absolutely perfect for. The only problem with that is, is they also do that when you don't want them to do it. <laughs> yes. What a great sign. We've worked out a technique and it's, and it's working for us. So, all we've got to do is maybe catch one last one, say goodbye, and be back next week. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this fish doesn't even know it's hooked either, Pete. We've been fishing the sounder. We've come out a little deeper than we were before because uh, we weren't getting any action in there. So uh, I've gone way out, out into 28 feet of water. That's where this fish has taken this in. It doesn't know what's going on, does it? It really doesn't. This is not really fighting like a barramundi. It's more like a snapper coming up off the bottom, isn't it? <laughs> it's certainly staying deep. It is staying Almost deep. like a big trevally trying to just stay down there and ride the current. Oh, look at the sounder. This is where all these barra are, mate. Go around the front. Oh. Oh. This, I would say, is a very big fish. It's, it's, it's done no big scream and run yet. Still I a lot of weight. A lot of weight down there. That's what we want. It's taken a fair bit of work to work this guy out. Just sitting on his side and <laughs> he's just on his side going. You around the dam. I'm 30 kilos, you lift me to the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh, I'll tell you what, oh that's it. Get a little bit of line off him, back on him when he gets that big head shake now. He's coming to the, the top. A good hard strike or a oh, definite clunk. No, uh, just a big definite clunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Doing all sorts of weird stuff, this fish. Oh. That's where that smooth drag comes into play, that last kick of that tail and their big head shake. They're such powerful fish. Oh. That puts a... <laughs> you can see old heart going when they, they've got their head down and they just kick and shake their head at the same time. And if you haven't got a good hook set, 
that's when they come out. This is gonna be a cracker. It's what we come here for, isn't it, Pete? Definitely, mate. And the technique we use there, that I got this fish on, was very similar to what we were doing before, just hopping the, the Berkeley mullets up off the bottom on that tapered edge. But this time, this drift changed a bit. We moved a little bit further out and because we, we couldn't see too much where we'd sounded the fish before in that shallower 20 foot of water, they were gone. So, can't catch them if they're gone. I might get you to swing us around, Pete. Just, yeah, sure. Oh, this is a heavy fish, a very heavy fish. I've only got a, I'm fishing a um, six to 10 kilo rod and she's got a bit of a uh, 30 pound Berkeley code red on it. So I've got, I do have a, a fair bit of power to uh, exert on the fish, but I'm not going, I'm not gonna go too hard on it. This is the part, this is that part where you, your heart's in your mouth, you, you've done all the hard work to get him and he's doing it, he's doing his darndest to get off. I'm looking at a, oh, oh look at that. That is a flat <laughs> of a fish. That, oh man, that is a cracking barramundi. You're gonna be flat out getting him in that net, I reckon. Spin him back around. Oh. Swim him in. Yes! <laughs> oh, 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 man! Oh, that is the bomb. His girth certainly, <laughs> certainly gave him, gave him away as a big fish, but he's uh, pulled it down to about a metre and 14, nearly a metre 15, so it's still a cracking fish. <laughs> what do you reckon, Pete? That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that for a swallowed mullet. That's what it's all about. A Wonga Barra. Woohoo! Yeah! That's great. I'm gonna put this big fella back in. Head home with some pretty good stories. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful big bear. Okay. What are we gonna do? Spear him away. Down he goes. Man! A longer barrel fishing. You gotta do it. What do you reckon, Pete? Certainly show me a thing or two. Uh, Lure fishing for impoundment barramundi is an ever-evolving art. As fish learn some of our method, anglers will need to call on a range of techniques to continue experiencing success. Fishing soft plastics in deeper water is definitely one approach to learn, and keep stashed away in your arsenal of techniques. Murray Cotter won one of our fresh water prizes. Bill Classen shows us that fishing near the city limits is no barrier to catching these beautiful fish. Well, you wouldn't know I'm only 15 kilometres from the CBD of Melbourne. I'm on the Yarra River and fishing for some Murray Cod. In this section of the river, there's a whole raft of options that you've got. There's deep pools, there's rock bars, there's bends and there's runs. On the runs, probably the best thing to do is fish a spinnerbait, because they can be fairly shallow, only about two metres. But in these deep pools, go for a deep diving lure. Deep diving crankbait, fish nice and slow in the pools, will quite often catch you a Murray Cod in the Yarra River. You can see here the sort of retrieve that's needed. We're really, a few cranks, we've got that lure down, probably, it's probably running down about two to three metres now. And all I'm doing is just holding it down near the bottom, basically feeling its way back to bank side here. Now I've, had, I've had strikes at both ends of the cast when I'm fishing like this. I've had them at my feet, and I've had them right at the end of the cast, just as you, as you crank down. And just about every point in between. Mm -hmm. 
So once you reach a pool, that's when you change over to a deep diving crankbait or a deep diving minnow. I've got a uh, 90 mil ballista on here. But you could use a number of different lures you could use. But these big pools like here, which is a place called Blue Tongue Bend, fairly iconic pool on the Yarra River. It's the, at the end of a uh, very, very popular nature walk. I just marched that lure over that snag. The other thing too is when you're fishing these deep divers for, for cod in rivers, in pools, crank them down and then just fish them real slow. Look at that, don't even have to retrieve, It'll, that'll fish for you. Combination of use the current working against it and keeping that lure right in the strike zone of the fish. So if you happen to go over a fish, keep it as long as you can in its strike zone. Try to entice that strike. Hit. Oh, this could be a nice cod. What up? <laughs> now that is what we're after. A Yarra River Murray Cod. And this guy, what a lovely cracking fish. And we've just come up to this big pool and I've thrown about 15 spinnerbait casts through it. And I've put on a deep diving ballista. First cast, bang. Now a lot of people would not realise how good a fishery the Yarra River is. And have a look at this guy, eh? Australia's iconic freshwater sport fish. Oh. And he's not done yet. You'd have to be happy with that. I would say seven, eight kilos. Let's get her back in the water. Lovely, lovely Murray cod. Let's take that ballista on a Dino 90. And that just goes to show you who would think you would get a fish that good in the Yarra River. And in a fairly well-known pool as well. What a cracker. Now the way this guy took it, like so many times before, is just taken it just in on the edge of this current here, just down on the water. So there might have been a snag close in. Very, very rarely you're gonna catch these cod right out in the middle of the pool. But cast out, cranked it down, and there's the result. So you can see how during the fight, this second treble's just hooked in its, yeah, we got that out, that's better. And he's just hooked up on the top, so he's obviously swirled at it really hard. But that little 90 mil dyno, very happy with that. Sort of gives that bit of a, uh, maybe a bit of a carp profile, bit of a bit of a subtle color. So there you go, most importantly, just use 20 pound hard cased fluorocarbon, no heavier. And in this case, 90 mil dyno did the job perfectly. That I'm very, very happy with. Absolutely magnificent fish, and here we go. Good one.